Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial. I'm an architect in Anchorage, Alaska, and today I have another iPhone video for you guys. I didn't think that I was going to receive this MagSafe wallet this early, but since I have it in my hands, I thought, why not shoot a video? So this should be a pretty quick and easy video. I just wanted to share my thoughts, do some tests, and of course, answer some questions that I think you might have and whether or not I recommend the MagSafe wallet. So without further ado, let's get to it. Let's open this thing. I think you just pull this tab right here. Bam. That looks good. That looks really, really good. If you've had a leather case or anything like that from Apple, the material is pretty similar. So let's take this out. Okay, so here's the MagSafe wallet. And now let's try to attach it to the phone and see how strong it is. Oh, wow. That just locked in place. That looks really good. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below. So now let's test how strong the connection is without a case. I'm trying to push it. With this setup, you can push it to the side fairly easy. See, there is a little bit of force, of course, but you can move it. Pushing it up is a different story. You need a little bit more force there. And yeah, pushing down is about the same as pushing up. So I think it's safe to say that without a case, this is a fairly strong connection. And I think if it falls off, you would notice it. So I'm not too worried about that, but I'm curious to see how it performs later when I try to put it in my pocket. Now let's move over to the totally case and let's see if my hunch in my unboxing and first impression video was right. Let's put in this totally case right here. Now let's just try this thing. Okay, so it still snaps. If I shake it, it doesn't fall off. With a totally clear silicone case, it feels like it's a little bit more movable because this is a smooth surface. But I'm actually surprised how well this holds up. Like it still locks in place, it still magnetically connects. But I'm just surprised that it doesn't fall off. But I think once you slide it in your pocket, it might come off rather easily. I don't know, For I, I think for some people this might work. If you don't wear tight pants or if you're always cautious about where your things are, if you're generally very careful, I think this is really not that risky or not a bad solution, okay? It stays in place pretty well. It's the, it's those sudden movements that make it fall off. So now let's test a silicone case that doesn't have the MagSafe on it. This is my wife's case that I just borrowed. It's about as thick as the Apple one, but like I said, it doesn't have the magnets. And I'm just curious if it's gonna work. You guys might have the same question. Moment of truth. This is actually what I thought the totally case connection would be with this MagSafe wallet. This one is very unreliable. I, I wouldn't be comfortable doing this. So as you can see, this is my phone. Let's put the MagSafe wallet it recognizes it right there, as you see in the animation, but the connection is really, really weak. I wouldn't recommend this. If you want the MagSafe wallet, you need a thinner case. Now I'm very curious to see how well the MagSafe wallet will interact with this MagSafe silicone case. I wonder if it'll be stronger. Let's try this, boom. Okay, so I can definitely tell that this is stronger in two ways. Number one, if I push this to the side, it doesn't move as easy as well as it did with the back. And I'm not sure if it's because of the surface of this silicone case, it's a little bit more grippy. And also if I push up, it takes a lot more effort to get it out of there. I think Apple really made this MagSafe wallet to be used with this silicone case. I'm not sure about the clear case but with another MagSafe case. So I think all of those magnets work well together and they stack and get stronger the more magnets you connect. So this is looking very promising. I think this is exactly what I was hoping for. It's very secure in my opinion. I don't know what people are saying on the internet, but this feels secure enough for me. I'm very careful with my stuff. So I think this will definitely be my go-to combo right here but I do want to see how it works in real life. Now, let me grab my wallet real quick and then I'll put several cards on it. Let's see how many we can fit. So I have three cards in my hands and let's see if three cards can fit. Number one, card number two, card number three, 
you don't necessarily pull your cards out like this. Of course, if you want to use your wallet, I think if you have to, you might be able to just take it out like this, but this can be a pain. I think the idea is for you to take out the MagSafe wallet, slide it up, and then it comes out like that, and then you pick whatever card. So let's try that again. I have the MagSafe wallet, I need to pay. Take it out right here, slide it up. There you go, it makes it really easy. So after that, slide it back in, put it in my wallet. I like that. Now I wanna test out if I can fit a fourth card in here. I'm gonna take it out first just to see. Yeah, no, I don't wanna do that. As soon as I try to put the fourth card in, I can see the leather stretching out and I don't wanna do that because over time, say I don't wanna carry four cards and I only wanna carry two cards, then it might get looser over time. Actually, another good test is it's pretty snug right now with three cards. Let's try it with two cards and see if the cards will fall off. So three cards, I'm not moving at all. Let's try to remove one card. So I have two cards right there. I don't know if you guys can see that now. Let's see. It's not moving. That's pretty good. I'm impressed by that. Let's remove one card. Push it down first. Yeah, one card. That's really good. I'm so impressed. Yeah, that, that's not going anywhere. One card is pretty safe, two cards, pretty safe. Three cards is a little bit more tight, more secure, but it doesn't really affect the ease of getting the cards out. Four cards, you're stretching it. Leather is getting stretched out. So I'd be curious to see if the leather stretches out over time and if it loses its hold on the cards. But for now, this is pretty impressive. I think it works really well. And if you're generally a safe person, and you are eyeing the MagSafe wallet, go get it. I think you will be fine. If you are more on the clumsy side, then I can see how it could be a problem. But for me, I take care of my stuff really well. I usually am pretty aware of where my things are, especially things that are in my pocket. So I'm not worried about it falling off and me not noticing it. Before we do several tests, let me know in the comments below if you're thinking of getting the MagSafe wallet. And if you have it, let me know how you're liking it. So right now I'm wearing joggers and the pockets are pretty loose and I don't think there'll be an issue. And then I'll change to jeans, which are pretty skinny. So you'll see the best of both worlds there. All right, first we'll do it unassisted and then we'll do an assisted one. So I'll slide it in my pocket, slide it out, slide it in, slide it out. Okay, so as you can see, I can do that fairly easily and I didn't even need to prop the pockets open to make sure that this doesn't fall off. So now I'm going to change to the tightest pants that I own. We'll do it unassisted first, slide it in. That's pretty tight right there. Now let's slide it up. Boom. And as you can see, I didn't even have to prop the pockets open again and it just works. It didn't fall off, not even once. But I know some people could be in a rush and are not as careful. No shame in that. I'll try that and pretend as if I'm in a rush and I really need to just grab my phone. Let's do that test. As you guys can see, I was trying to really jam this in there. And even though my pants were tight, it really didn't come off. So I think with the MagSafe silicone case, it really is stronger. So now let's try it without the case. And then we'll try it with a totally case. And then we'll wrap this whole thing. So as you can see, I only had one mishap with the Totally case. And I must say, I'm very impressed with how this combo worked. It didn't look promising at first, 
but yeah one mishap in those several tests that's pretty good i didn't think i was being careful i was inserting the phone in and out i wasn't even looking at my pocket i was trying to emulate just trying to put that in and i really need to grab my phone real quick on the pocket test side of things i think this is pretty doable um, of course you still have that swivel problem so when you're using it you can easily move the wallet but with the MagSafe case you really don't have that issue so what's my recommendation overall i think this MagSafe wallet works as well as it should so i don't know what other tests are being done out there or what other people are experiencing but for me and in what i've done so far it seems like the MagSafe wallet works as well as expected. And that's a good thing because the videos I was seeing online weren't really promising, but I can tell you guys with confidence that this works well for me. I'm curious if they have a faulty magnet or the magnet isn't as strong on their units, but yeah, I, I don't see that issue at all with mine. Although I can tell you guys whether $60 is worth it for this wallet, I can tell that the quality is good. I can tell that it works. I can tell you that for me, this solves a problem. I don't always want to bring my wallet. When I do bring my wallet, I like putting it in my back pocket and sometimes that's not the most comfortable thing. So having this set up right here helps me carry less things, especially right now when I find myself bringing and carrying more things on a daily basis when I'm going out. If you already have the MagSafe case, definitely recommend it. I don't think you'll have a problem. If you have a different case, I would recommend going to an Apple store and testing it out if that's possible given the COVID restrictions. If you have no case at all, it's also doable as you can see on my test. And if you have a thicker silicone case that doesn't have MagSafe, don't do it. So that's just a quick video for you guys. I hope that you found that useful. I'm gonna to try to edit this as quick as I can so I can upload it. Yeah, this was a good surprise. I was able to get it yesterday and I just wanted to get this message across. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding the iPhone 12, the MagSafe wallet, or anything life tech and architecture related. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you love it, subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you'll get notified the next time I post a video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.